This is a very unique uh, peace process uh, and the largest, the most important difference with other peace processes is that victims are actually participating in the deliberations uh, in Havana, particularly presenting their cases. And this, of course, touches a very sensitive fiber in a conflict that uh, degraded during the past uh, 30 years with serious human rights violations, serious breaches of international humanitarian law, uh, numerous crimes uh, against humanity, war crimes, uh, acts of torture, kidnapping, uh, rapes of women, uh, child recruitment have been committed. And these cases will need uh, some doses of judicial accountability. So the agreement will need to take into account this participation in a substantial manner, but in a way through which it, it w will not affect the viability of the peace agreement and the implementation of the peace agreement, because one of the main challenges here is that the peace process needs to create incentives for members of FARC to go into the DDR process. And these incentives, of, of course, will collide with the interests of victims to have accountability over crime. So the formula there is to select those cases which are more serious and the most responsible of those crimes in order to have some sort of judicial accountability. We